there is a sea change coming to home financing. And they talk about the home ownership rate. It took uh, 2005, we have to go back to 2005 for us to hit the high in the last 20 years of home ownership at 69.1% in the fourth quarter of 2020. We're only at 65.8% of home ownership. So yeah, it's slipping as they reference here or, or quote here, the story goes, it is slipping through the fingers of more and more Americans. That is home ownership becoming a nation of renters. We've been talking about that here on the podcast for years, a nation of renters. We have not seen home ownership rise and the pandemic might have hurt that, right? Because we've we've had this extreme, you know, winner and loser scenario. And like we saw in Connecticut, so many of the homes were bought were people that had the luxury of buying second homes. Right, right. Well, again, I think there's so many things obviously playing into um, into the home ownership, and you know, again, in, in in this article, they they reference even just debt, you know, student loan debt, um, so it kind of unqualifies you. Or again, doctors, you know, you have a huge, you know, a huge debt there, and then you're unable to even come up with maybe some cash to put down uh, because you're obviously being forced to spend all your extra money on those loans. So. Um, lots of things are, are happening here that are making it really difficult to maintain um, or for a, attainment of home ownership. But this is why there's a whole bunch of companies out there trying to find alternative financing models. And that's what we're going to discuss here. We'll obviously link them all up. But if you scroll to the bottom of this particular article, you will see all of the different solutions or models that different companies are rolling out. And a lot of these companies are, are, you know, have similar products that they're testing and uh, putting into the market. But we'll, we'll just run through a few of these here. Home Light, of course, you know, maybe you receive leads from Home Light, seller leads. Uh, but Home Light has a product which is called its trade in product, where you can, you know, trade in your home to them. Uh, they provide that cash offer and basically would let the, uh, you know, the would be owners find the home that they want because they now own your home and you, and you can go out and, and buy another home. Uh, knock, we've talked about knock. They have that home swap offering as well. Homeward is another company that they reference here. And then there's down payment assistant assistance models. Uh, the company offers consumers up to 500,000 so they can piece together enough for a 20% down um, with payment of that size of course homeowners don't have to get mortgage insurance and can often secure better interest rates uh, they believe they can save buyers significant amounts of money by doing that it's a couple of these other companies that are doing something similar landed is one of them and then there are hybrid ownership models what the heck is the hybrid ownership model well, they kind of have co-ownership in in the properties. Um, this is it Divi, 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 Divi. We'll go with Divi. Divi, Divi Homes. Divi, yeah. Well, well so they, funded, of course, by Wall Street. Uh, yeah. Um, so this is a rent to own, like again, a very similar to a rent to own. Uh, up above too, uh, Homeward was sort of doing the same thing, uh, where they're 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 purchasing this, but Divi's actually putting it in an LLC. So you have sort of partial. I believe it's sort of part ownership, right? Is that, um, you have partial ownership in the LLC. Is that this one or is that, oh, that's Fleck. Fleck was the partial ownership. Yeah, which LLC is another hybrid ownership. hybrid ownership model. Yeah, again, there it, it's, I recommend everybody reading these and looking into them because they're very unique and interesting and and actually almost a way, especially this Fleck model where you're where you're part owner in the LLC and then when you move in, you're actually only paying a percentage of of sort of the mortgage, um, which again is a, is a fabulous way to even just start building your like real estate portfolio because then you're able to even sort of pull out some of the equity in some of these situations to buy others too. So. It and like we've seen, we were talking about Open Door last week. Like we've seen with a lot of these companies, some of these models are just going to be a pretty good marketing ploy, right? Like, oh yeah, we have um, 
you know, we'll buy the house and you rent it from us yeah, and then you can decide if you want to buy it from us. We'll do this. It's, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll give you down payment assistance. And all of that is just to get them to transact with them. Because if you see open door started as just an eye buyer, Hey, we're just an eye buyer. We're, we're out here right. eye buying. And now they're becoming a full fledged brokerage model. They're using the eye buy as the, you know, dangling the carrot to what they're really going to do, which is become a full fledged broker. And, and that's what right. some of these companies, you know, home light, Hey, do this, do that. And then, okay, just transact with us. We just want the fees. We want the fees. Right. Well, and there are lots of fees that come along with these. There's transaction fees. They're looking for percentages. Um, again, I do think though that I, I'm, I do not think that this is a racket. I think it's nope. great that they are offering some other alternatives. Um, and again, a way to really make, obviously buyers have a little bit more buying power too, because they're, providing some in some situations providing offers on homeowners homes so that they can then confidently go out to purchase another home um, obviously they're doing sort of rent backs too and a lot of these companies too are are even taking losses in the long run if you take a loss or if they do purchase your home and then when they resell it if they make a larger profit than than they had originally believed they're actually splitting it with you so again i think they're all very interesting all offer very different things Again, all of the owners of all of these companies are still very much in agreement with the fact that the 30 year mortgage is never going away. Correct. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't sound like they're trying to achieve that, but just certainly offering alternatives, which, you know, as a real estate agent, it's always nice to see um, other things entering the market so that you can continue to help your buyer achieve their goal. Great or point. Or their seller. Great point. Yeah. The 30 year mortgage has been the best product for banks in the history of American banks. So that is not going away, but more options for consumers is always good if they're educated on what those options cost them and start right. adding up the fees and can, and can compare and contrast.